Hi friends, welcome to SSG Electrical. So far we discussed about electrical circuits and utilization of electrical energy related videos and in the today's class we are discussing about uh, measurements and uh, whatever the subject that you are expecting to be uh, upload a video please tell in comments so that I will make a video accordingly. Okay, See here regarding measurements. First one. So, in one class I will discuss about the theory and important formulas and another class I will discuss the multiple choice questions on that. Okay. See here, static deviation, static deviation, static deviation formula is root over d1 square plus d2 square plus so on dn square by n minus 1. When it is n less than or equals to 20, when n less than or equals to 20, we have to take n minus 1. Remember this. When n greater than 20, we have to take n. When n less than or equals to 20, we have to take n minus 1. When n greater than 20, we have to take n. That is only the difference. And like this, you can remember less than or equals to there is a minus symbol is there, no? It will come here. Like that, just remember. Static deviation formula again, I am discussing root over d1 square plus d2 square plus so on dn square by n minus 1. That is for n less than or equals to 20 and root over d1 square plus d2 square plus so on dn square by n for n greater than 20 very important formulas and second one static error formula is measured value minus true value static error formula is measured value minus true value important and third one correction factor formula okay correction factor is add or to correction factor you see correction factor add or subtract add or subtract to measured value add or subtract to measured value add or subtract to measured value to get the true value okay add or subtract a value to measured value so that you will get the true value okay so that is regarding correction factor again i am discussing when you will get correction factor when you are adding or subtracting a, a number to measured value you will get the true value okay next one next one relative static error relative static error Static error means just now we have discussed that is measured value minus true value. When it is relative static error, we have to write with respect to true value. Okay, relative static error with respect to true value. A m minus a t by a t. Measured value minus true value by true value. Denominator it should be true value. Okay. So relative static error measured value minus true value by true value into hundred for percentage relative static error. What is the formula? Measured value minus true value by true value into 100. When it is percentage asked, we have to write into 100. Okay. With respect to true value, not the measured value. With respect to true value, we have to write. And relative static error equals to E by A T into 100 also write. Measured value minus true value. Measured value minus true value difference can be written as E. Okay. So, E by A T into 100 we can say. E by 80 into 100 we can write. E is nothing but a what? Static error. Static error formula just now we discussed that is E equals to measured value minus true value. Okay. When it is with respect to true value, it is a relative static error. Okay. Percentage ask means we have to write into 100. Okay. Very important formula. So, based on this, they will give you the values for measured value and true value. We have to calculate the relative static error accordingly. Okay. And next one. Limiting error. Range of error with respect to true value. Range of error with respect to true value is nothing but a limiting error. And tolerance or uncertainty we can say. Okay. With respect to true value, tolerance or uncertainty. Limiting error is also called as tolerance or uncertainty. Average value formula is x bar equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 so on xn by n. You know this. Generally average value x bar equal to x1 plus x2 x3 so on xn by n average value deviation formula is d equals to d1 is equals to x1 minus x x1 minus x bar that is this x1 minus x bar average okay that particular value minus the average value for in case of deviation to second deviation if you want to know that is x2 minus x bar okay x1 minus x bar that is for d2 x2 minus x bar like that we have to calculate the deviation for a particular value and average deviation formula is equals to d1 plus d2 plus d3 so on dn by n that is mod d1 plus mod d2 plus mod d3 so on dn by n this is a formula to know the precision of the instrument to know the precision of the instrument we will calculate this and probable error are equals to 
0.6745 sigma okay probable error formula is 0.6745 sigma important 0.6745 sigma important and probable error means rm equals to r by root of n minus 1 0.6745 sigma by n minus 1 important formula probable error mean means this one and only probable error means this one important this one also only probable error ask no this one is a formula and probable error mean if they ask you that is rm equal to r by root over n minus 1 important here r is nothing but this one only 0.6745 sigma ok and this portion is very very important here onwards and previous also important but in, in most of the cases the questions are coming from this topic and rs equal to series resistance equals to rm into m minus 1 rs equals to series resistance equal to rm into m minus 1 that is m is nothing but a v by vm vm is nothing but a budget voltage okay vm is nothing but a budget voltage rm into m minus 1 m is nothing but a v by vm m is nothing but a multiplication factor okay multiplication factor the range of voltage is proportional to series resistance important formula this is rs equal to rm into m minus 1 and rsh equals to rm by m minus 1 for example for uh, for series resistance this is formula for shunt resistance rm by m minus 1 it will comes to numerator denominator okay rm by m minus 1 that is m equals to i by im this is a magnetic current this is a magnetic current this is a meter current and this is a magnetic current this is a range of current okay so questions usually ask in this way 11th one you see 11th one questions usually ask in this way v1 v2 v3 will be given some voltage will be given and find the resistance across the all the voltmeters he will ask you how do you calculate r1 is nothing but a sv that is sensitivity into voltage sensitivity how much given r equal to s into v we have to calculate sensitivity will be given that we have to multiply with voltage so that you will get the resistance across the particular element okay particular meter we can calculate and like that find i find voltage find vo2 find v3 like that the questions will be asked if they ask you the voltage you have to add the uh, you have to multiply the current into uh, resistance okay like that uh, questions will be asked on this they will give you the values what is the sensitivity and what is the voltage will be given we have to multiply that okay if they ask you the resistance here what you will do r equals to v by i voltage given 100 volts by current given 5 milliamp simplify that you will get the r value okay that is one method another method is if they give the sensitivity if they give a voltage and current we have to use the r equal to v by i if they give the sensitivity we have to use r equal to sv like that also we have to uh, solve the question in all the electrical instruments responsible responsible quantity is current very important in all electrical instruments responsible quantity is current electrical instruments responsible quantity current for electronic instruments responsible quantity is voltage for electrical instruments responsible quantity current for electronic instruments responsible quantity voltage very very important and what kind of system we usually prefer little bit less than under damped priority one and under damped system is priority two mostly slightly slightly less than under damped little bit less than under damped is a priority one and under damped system is priority two in the in the options if they give you which one is a preferable little bit less than under damped we have to prefer if there is no option like this first one we have to choose under damped system okay next resolution formula okay resolution full scale voltage by total number of divisions resolution formula is full scale voltage by full scale voltage by total number of divisions and gross error that is gross error relates to hall human negligence errors gross error relates to hall human negligence errors okay not common to all the way we look the reading okay all human negligence error means the way we look the uh, meter reading okay when we are looking from left side or right side the meter reading may appear in different ways so that is all human negligence error and by overlook also we will see for for 2.2 we may see 3.2 like that based on our uh, observation okay systematic error what is systematic error systematic error will comes under instrument error environmental and observational error okay Systematic error is instrumental error, environment observational error. During observational error, this is comes under. See previously I discussed about this one, no gross error. That is human negligence error. For systematic error, observation error also comes under uh, systematic error. Carefully, parallel axis error. 
so parallelly when the needle is parallel to the meter it may appear in different way when we are looking from left or right side it appears in different way that is systematic error and next one is random error these are the three errors we present in uh, measurements okay and mostly problems will be given on this r1 equal to 100 plus or minus 4 ohms and r2 equal to 50 plus or minus 2 ohms r1 plus r2 if they ask you for addition subtraction absolute error is added in this case absolute error errors here percent is given in this absolute error is given okay in this case absolute errors added case absolute absolute error error added case what happens 150 will be added here r1 plus r2 100 plus 50 150 and this errors will be added only absolute errors always be added so 4 plus 2 6 you got so 150 plus 6 in this case what happens oh, r1 minus r2 100 minus 50 50 and absolute error should be added only 4 plus 2 it will not be subtracted it should be added so 50 plus 6 is the plus or minus 6 is the answer okay in this addition and subtraction in this case when the questions are like this addition and subtraction will be in this way absolute errors will be added so the subtraction happens absolute errors will be added in this case you see percentage given percentage errors will be added in this case also multiplication division method r1 into r2 given r1 into r2 what you are doing first case 50 into 10 500 is fine in second case you we may confuse that it is multiplying so that we have to multiply these two no it is not the case we have to add only in this case also percentage error should be added 6 plus 3 9 okay though you are multiplying these two times 50 to 10 500 we have to add second percentage errors 9 only next in this case r1 by r2 what happens r1 by r2 means how much 50 by 10 that is 5 correct one only but the second second case it is not 6 by 3 it should be added okay what we have to remember is absolute errors and percentage errors will be added very very important absolute errors and percentage errors will be added based on this many questions will be given we have to answer accordingly okay so this is the regarding uh, electrical measurements okay so thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you